Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk to you today about how to launch your real estate career. And this might be for those of you who are new into real estate. This might be for some of you who have been doing real estate in a new brokerage, now you're new to Plumtree. Uh, but this might be for some of you who you've been doing real estate for a while, but things have kind of slowed down or you've stalled and you just need some ideas for getting things really revved up again. And so I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you about that. Now there's really five things that I would recommend for you to do in order to really uh, beef up your real estate business. Uh, number one, expand your digital footprint online. Number two, make sure that all 7.5 billion people on the planet know that you're in real estate. <laughs> number three, learn more in order to earn more. <laughs> number four, I recommend that you crash the phones. Number five, begin mastering conversion. Let's unpack those things a little bit. Step one is to expand your digital footprint online. I recommend that you get on every real estate website that you can find and set up an agent profile. Uh, for instance, you might want to have a profile on Realtor.com and Zillow.com, Trulia, Homes.com, any website you can find, Active Rain, uh, any websites that you can find, get on there and set up a profile. Now, most of those you can set up a free profile and it's like having lines in the water. The more lines you have in the water, uh, the more fish that you can catch. Now the most obvious website where you need to have a profile, can you guess what this is? Facebook. <laughs> a lot of agents, they come in and they're doing rather poorly with Facebook and you, if you're going to be serious about real estate, I hate to say it, but you've got to have a solid uh, presence on Facebook. Now, let me talk about Facebook just a little bit. Uh, some people set up business pages on, on Facebook, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. However, what I've seen with the, the business pages is that it's sort of like telling your friends, hey, sign up for more advertisements on your Facebook wall. Most people, they just don't really care about more advertisements on their Facebook wall. So uh, I recommend that you don't do a business page. It's not a problem if you do, that's fine. But the real power in Facebook is going to be when you actually engage your friends through your personal profile and mention every once in a while that you do real estate, okay? Now don't bury your news feed with advertisement after advertisement after advertisement about real estate. I recommend about two or three times, three or four times maybe a week that you mention something about real estate. Now, here's how this works. They say about 3% of the population tends to be in the market for whatever the thing is that you happen to sell, okay? So if you sell tires and you know 100 people, you probably know about three people today who are ready to buy or sell tires today. Okay, if you uh, sell pencils and you know 100 people, you probably know about three people today who are ready to buy uh, pencils. So it's the same thing with real estate. If you have 100 friends, uh, you probably know about three people today who are ready to buy or sell today. Uh, but most of you have more than 100 friends. Uh, I think I have 2,500 connections or so on Facebook. That means on my account, I probably know 75 people today who are ready to buy or sell a house. So do you see how important that is to build that network? And you want to be top of mind, okay? When they get ready to buy or sell a house, they need to be thinking about your name because you're their friend and uh, you're the person they think of. The, the worst thing in the world is when you are at church with a friend or you, you go uh, meet some friends out uh, for wings or something and one of them says, oh yeah, I bought a house this week. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> and, and they're like, yeah, I bought a house. And, and then they say, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, you're a realtor. <sighs> I would have used you. <laughs> so you don't want that. Uh, you want to be top of mind and so mentioning real estate uh, every once in a while on your Facebook wall uh, keeps people from blocking you but it, it helps them to know oh yeah so and so is in real estate so uh, very important. Step two you want to make sure that all 7.5 billion people on the planet know that you are a real estate agent. <laughs> Now you might not be able to reach quite that big of a crowd, but uh, the point is you want to get the word out that you do real estate to everyone that you know. 
okay? So think in terms of your sphere of influence. Make sure that everyone, all of your friends know that you're a realtor. Uh, shy realtors have skinny kids. <laughs> okay, you don't want to. You don't want to be that shy realtor. You want to be a realtor that's out there that everyone knows. You can help them. Step number three is maybe one of my favorite points. You have to learn more to earn more. Okay, always be on a path of learning. Always be trying to help yourself grow and become better uh, as a person, as a business person, as a business leader. Uh, develop your skills, and it's going to take a lot of learning. I listen to probably 30 to 50 audiobooks a year uh, in, in addition to podcasts and I'm always on YouTube watching videos for uh, real estate but I'm always trying to learn, trying to uh, develop myself so that I can do better uh, in, in my own career. So always, always be learning. Now we send uh, a lot of stuff out to our agents, especially as you come on board, I send out uh, YouTube videos and uh, lists of uh, podcasts that you can sign up for. I encourage you to take advantage of that. And there's two books in particular that I recommend. If you haven't read these yet, I highly recommend them. Uh, one is Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller. Very important book uh, for helping you create systems that will build your business. The second book that I highly recommend is by a guy named Pat Hyden, and that's, this one's called Six Steps to Seven Figures. Uh, Pat Hyben was the top uh, realtor in the world for Keller Williams uh, numerous years, and uh, he, he understands the Keller Williams concept and, and systems, but he kind of puts the Pat Hyben spin on it so that you, you get his approach to it, which is very, very helpful. These are the two most important books that I recommend for our agents. Step number four is crash the phones. You've got to pick up the phone and start calling people. Uh, real estate doesn't happen by osmosis. Uh, some people, they get their real estate license and they think this is, this is their lottery ticket. <laughs> it's not a lottery ticket, okay? You don't automatically get money put into your bank account by having a real estate license. There's, there's some work that you have to put into it. It's not a lottery ticket, but it is a key. Okay, your real estate license is a key to unlocking a business that can put a lot of money in your bank account, but you've got to work it. It doesn't happen automatically. You've got to work it. So uh, one of the most important things you can do is to start making phone calls. They've estimated that it takes about 30 phone calls to get a sale, okay? To sell a house, you have to make about 30 uh, contacts. So there are some agents who look at that and they say, hmm, 30 phone calls, no problem. I can do that. Uh, I, can I can sell a house every month. If I just make one phone call a day, I can sell a house a month. <laughs> then there are some other agents, they look at that and they say, hmm, no problem, I can make 30 phone calls a week and I can sell a house every single week. And then there are some other agents that they say, I can make 30 phone calls a day. <laughs> and they do, and they sell a lot of houses. Uh, I know of one guy, his discipline every day is between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday, He's making phone calls and his goal is to make 50 phone calls a day five days a week 50 weeks a year so and, and I happen to know that this agent is making about six hundred thousand dollars a year okay so there's a reward to getting on the phones making those phone calls so some of you might be saying okay that's great and, and so you've already called everybody that you know you've called your sphere of influence you've called your aunt Martha three times and she's like I know you're in real estate and you've called your your mom and your brothers and your uncles and, and they're like, yeah, we know you're in real estate. So now you're like, okay, I've made my 30 phone calls, but who do I call after that? <laughs> and so what you need to do is make sure you have 30 people to call at all times. Let me give you a few recommendations for how to find these 30 phone calls to make. Number one, like I just mentioned, would be your sphere of influence. Make sure that you've taken time to at least call everyone that you do know, your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, if you have another job. Uh, make sure you've reached out and you've connected with them just so that they know you're in real estate. And if you're just now transitioning to Plumtree, this is a perfect time. It gives you perfect reason to call your sphere of influence. Just say, hey, I just wanted to let you know I'm now working with Plumtree. And if you know of anyone looking to buy or sell a house, send them my way with Plumtree I can help them out a lot more 
uh, that I used to be able to help them out. So send them my way. <laughs> so call your sphere of influence. Number two, I recommend that you call expired listings. Uh, you can get lists of expired listings every day. There's probably 15 or 20 uh, expired listings every single day that come on the market. Call them. Let them know that you happen to specialize in helping people whose houses did not sell with another realtor and you have some systems that will help them uh, to uh, sell their house very quickly. And, and with an expired listing, I recommend that you use our 29-day guaranteed sale program. Uh, send me a message if you don't have the documentation for that. But we do have it in the uh, Dropbox, all the details. The 29-day guaranteed sale program works extremely well with expired listings. The third source for making these 30 phone calls, as frequently as you're able to make these 30 phone calls, is to uh, contact all the for sale by owners that you can find. So uh, there's a trick to getting for sale by owners is if you uh, get in Zillow and set yourself up as a prospect that you're looking to buy houses, not as an agent, set yourself up as a prospect as if you're looking for houses in the greater Cincinnati area or Columbus area or Cleveland or wherever you happen to be working. Uh, so you set yourself up as a prospect and you go up to the property types, the listing types, and you uncheck all the boxes except for for sale by owner or make me move, those two things. Those two categories are their for sale by owner listings. And you'll get a list of all of the names and phone numbers of all the listings in the area through Zillow of for sale by owners. And you can even set yourself up to have them automatically email those to you every day. The new for sale by owners, uh, they'll email those to you right from Zillow. So uh, that's a terrific resource and that'll start giving you these people, uh, these phone calls that you can make. Now with for sale by owners, my approach is always to pitch the $500 flat fee listing because uh, they're already thinking in terms of they don't want to pay an agent, right? So to try to come in with a 6% listing, that's just like everybody else. Uh, all the other realtors are saying that. So you'll be the agent that'll say, hey, have you ever thought about a for sale by owner MLS listing? <laughs> have you ever thought about a $500 flat fee listing? And so you can be the one who has that unique pitch and uh, they'll usually say, what's that? I never heard of that. And you, you have the opportunity to pitch that to them at that time. The fourth category of getting these 30 phone calls that you can make would be internet leads. I recommend that you really give serious thought to purchasing Zillow leads or Realtor.com leads or Trulia leads or Homes.com leads or any other internet leads that you can find. Um, I recommend that you, you do this because uh, personally in my business, I've always been able to get about a 10 to 1 return on my investment. So if I want to make $10,000 a month, I invest $1,000 per month in Zillow leads. If I want to make more than that, then I just increase it depending on how much money I want to make. So uh, I, I recommend that you consider that and start getting as many leads as you can through those resources. And then the fifth category for getting these phone calls, these leads, these people that you can call would be to really master our conversion uh, systems. Use conversion to generate leads. Uh, I, I know of a person who they create uh, one or two squeeze pages every day uh, through conversion and they'll post that on uh, Craigslist and Facebook and uh, I know a guy down in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky that's all he does is post squeeze pages on Craigslist and some on Facebook and he's making over hundred thousand dollars a year off of free leads off of Craigslist so uh, that's really a terrific uh, resource for you uh, I know another couple up in uh, Northeast Ohio that that's all they do is they, they run their business off of conversion, free leads that they're getting off of Facebook and other social media and they're making over $100,000 as well. So it's a great resource, uh, make sure you're using uh, conversion. Okay, so step five, getting off the launch pad relates very closely to the last point I made about conversion. Step five is make sure you master conversion for your business, okay? And there's a lot to it. Conversion offers an awful lot and it's hard to get your head around it because it's so huge. So I recommend that you try to learn about one new skill every week uh, through conversion. Spend some time, look at the videos that they have. They have 
uh, over 400 training videos. Most of them are two to four minutes uh, long. So make sure you listen to as many of these videos as you can uh, through conversion. They're really gonna help you build your business if you use the resources that you have through that. And in particular, I, I would encourage you to master using their squeeze pages to generate leads. So, uh, so those are the five uh, steps to launching your business. Take time to think through this list. Take time to expand your digital footprint. Take time to make sure everyone in the world possible knows that you're a realtor. Number three, learn more to earn more. Number four, crash the phones. Number five, master conversion. If you'll do these things, trust me, your business will blow up.